Hello, Andrea here for Katos.eu. I'm sitting at this table with Tavi Jakobson, former CEO of Codasema and co-founder, right? Yes, that's right. We're talking now about uh, smart uh, homes. And what is your level of expertise on this topic? I have lived in one, uh, mm -hmm. well, in, in Kotasema as this uh, Kota house or Kota house prototype. We wanted to create one. And uh, for, I guess, half a year or a little bit longer, I was working in a company that was really uh, selling uh, smart home systems. Sorry, uh, one, and, one and a half years, no, okay. not half a year. So you, you have seen fast. different systems uh, and you even tried different systems, right? Oh yes, oh yes. I think we are interested to understand what is a smart home. The, the funny thing is that when you look at the definitions of a smart home, uh, well, uh, in one hand side you will see the, the classical definition, for example, in, 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 in Wikipedia, for example, mm -hmm. uh, which is also a uh, replication of some other ideas. The smart home is, is, a, this is a home that can be controlled by a mobile device or okay. remote device or by a computer. And uh, so, well, nothing too smart in this definition. Well, I think uh, this definition, in fact, is dumb because... It's kind of uh, well, connected house somehow. Exactly, it's connected house. And, well, do you think, uh, do, you, do you make things smarter by making them able to be controlled by a, a remote device? Well, not really. Um, or then you look at the um, uh, smart home associations uh, uh, definition. Uh, well, basically in, in these definitions, well, depending on, on the association, well, they are, they are basically saying that smart home is something that makes your whole life better, or basically okay. everything that's connected with this house. So uh, it's, it's a wide variety of what people, people mean by, by the smart home. And actually this is, uh, this is one of the problems. Smart home, it's, it's a little bit a theoretical thing. But, uh, well, for example, uh, if I now hit my knee here, it jumps. Yeah. It's, it's a reaction. Does it mean that it's smart? Not really. It's, uh, well, <laughs> it's wired like it, that. It's, it's wired like that. It, it's automatic reaction. In most cases, what, we, uh, well, what is called smart home is automated home. The house needs to be equipped with sensors and then there must be a logic that does something with this information that comes from the sensors. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a, the process is very easy in that sense. You, you have a, um, well, uh, you, some, some kind of uh, signal coming from a sensor. Mm -hmm. You have some rules what to do with this, uh, this is signal and you have some output. Yes. So, for example, the house uh, finds out that you're coming at home and it knows it's dark outside uh, and uh, well, that you want the lights to be turned on. Then uh, well, it processes these rules and it does what it's supposed to do. Nothing smart here. It's <laughs> just poor aut uh, automatic behavior. Of course, then, then we, we start talking about this artificial intelligence and machine learning and these kind of things, like for example Nest, this is pretty, pretty much known about it, that it learns your, your Behavior, uh, behavioral your patterns, patterns yes. Yes, and uh, adjust your, your home temperature according to that. Well, we can start speaking about some smartness in these okay. kind of devices, not earlier. So, uh, what are the benefits uh, of living in such a house? I mean, yeah, you can have uh, the light turn on and mm -hmm. this kind of thing, but is there any major difference in the, in the actual living in the house? So, so first of all, the um, comfort uh, is, the, is the first step and then may, maybe not the most important. So the second thing is, is security. Um, yeah. Well, of course, uh, well, the, the, the sec security systems, to some extent, they are, they are getting well, they, they're very much the, the first step of uh, like getting the home automated or getting the home smart. And third, uh, well, it's energy efficiency. Yes. And uh, again, the, these things are not uh, separated from each other. So, for example, let's take the energy, uh, energy efficiency. And we, we talked about this nest playing around with the temperature of, of a room, yes. which is uh, which is surprisingly big deal because um, uh, there, are, there are several calculations and the numbers are a little bit different. But um, the, the general, uh, well, the, the, the most common rule uh, seems to be that then you reduce the temperature in winter time by one degree Celsius, uh, the, your energy costs will go down by five percent. Okay. 
So when nobody's at home, nobody's enjoying the, the warm room except maybe a cat, you could reduce the temperature down to 16 degrees or 17 degrees. Um, so the, the saving would be, would be pretty big. One third of the day, uh, there is no one at home. You are, you're not using your house. Generally, yes. Yeah, so, so of course, well, uh, we as, as human beings in, in this north, uh, northern side of, uh, uh, of, of the globe, where well, we spend 90% of our time inside the houses. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, in, in short, well, there are three things. Uh, comfort, um, security, and uh, energy. energy efficiency. Yes. Keeping these three things in mind, which are the systems uh, you would recommend if somebody wants to implement uh, the, the smart home, but not to overdo it, because you can really put a lot of systems in this house and then it becomes really expensive. So mm -hmm. if one wants to start with having a smart home, but uh, yeah, with, on a budget, what, which systems are the most important? Mm -hmm. Well, basically you're asking from me at the moment, uh, what, what uh, car should people buy? It, it depends, <laughs> it, it depends what, what, you, what you want and what you need. And again, um, while well, we should uh, put it into the entire picture of what you want from a home. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and of course, well, we are not very smart in making this decision usually, but if, if you don't have experience, well, they're saying that you need to build uh, three or four houses in order to yes. really understand what you, what well, you want. Well, uh, you are right. I mean, people might have different preferences. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you should have the flex flexibility uh, that, that you can add to the system. Uh, then, then, you, then you see uh, how, what, what is your real uh, living habit so that you can extend the system. So basically, I, I'm, I'm not saying to, to start from security or ventilation or uh, whatever, whatever part. Uh, my, my recommendation is to make sure that these you systems can. talk to each other yes. and then that you can expand the system. Yes, last question. Can we save money with a smart home? Yes. In which measure? <laughs> how much money we are talking about? Again, it depends how, how you implement it, and it, it depends very, very much on the, uh, on, on the type of a house. Well, uh, what, what you would like, and probably the, the listeners would like, is, is I, I can give some kind of percentage, but it's, well, it, it would be fooling. It would be fooling yourself, uh, going to the comfort of, of some, some number. There are, there oh, are, there are different. So, just mm -hmm. uh, I think it's mm -hmm. important to understand, uh, uh, like, especially if you're talking about heating, mm -hmm. which is one of the major expenses in, in the house. If we know that we can uh, modulate the temperature in the house uh, according to the, the actual usage, then mm -hmm. we can think, okay, yes, we can save some, some fuel or electricity. So, mm -hmm. that, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. I think this is what is important, and we are talking uh, usually heating. We're talking hundreds or, or thousands of euro per year. So, mm -hmm. so of course, uh, well, the, the bigger house you have, the the faster payback time you have, because the investment is, is usually absolute because you have some central system, and it uh, well uh, the the smaller area you're using it for. Uh, the, the, well, the longer payback because the, the saving in absolute terms is, is smaller. The percentage term is the same, but in absolute terms it's smaller. But uh, instead of uh, looking for some kind of absolute number, what my recommendation is to all the, the buyers of, of uh, smart home systems is uh, request this number from uh, the vendors. Mm -hmm. Let them do the calculation and uh, make sure that you believe this calculation. So, for example, this kind of playing with the temperature, this is a very, very clear heuristic that, that you can save. You can uh, also save from the ventilation. Ask a calculation from the vendor, make sure that you believe these calculations. Okay, and if they are not able to provide the calculations, then maybe you should change the vendor, right? Quite probably. It depends what you're after. If you're after energy efficiency, well, definitely this is what you're looking for. If you want to have uh, well uh, more security, if you want to have more uh, comfort, mm -hmm. well, and you don't care about the energy efficiency, well, all right, you, well, why bother? Additional question. Okay. Uh, if we think about the budget, the cost of the installation, what is the range? Are we talking about uh, five thousand euro to start with, or it's twenty thousand euro? 
Well, I would, I would say that also it, it, the cost can be negative, uh, the investment can be negative. For example, I was building my house in the beginning of this century mm -hmm. and uh, I had uh, uh, offers from, from different electricity system providers and one of them was uh, together with a smart home. Well, of course, it was very primitive. It was only, well, the light, light automation, but it was cheaper. So what you should do is to look at the, the, the entire picture. Mm -hmm. the, the program what we are usually doing, well, we are, we are looking at the prices of the components. Yes. And then we are very happy to have one component 50% cheaper. And then these things lead to, well, catastrophes, like for example, the <laughs> yeah. challenge, challenge a catastrophe. Some uh, very good uh, official was, was uh, keeping the costs down and uh, saved the uh, purchasing price of, of some components that at the end, uh, well, saved a few thousand dollars, but, but costed millions in human lives. Mm -hmm. so, so basically what you should do is, uh, it, it's very easy to look this automation system together with electricity system. So these, these two go together, but uh, you, you should all, always look at the wider picture. What, for example, if you, if you add also the ventilation, the ventilation the to, heating. yeah, what, what does it mean? Then, then you make this smart, uh, what, what does it mean to ventilation? Maybe you can use uh, smaller tubes. Uh, maybe you can you can have different kind of uh, windows. So you are saying that if we use a smart uh, home solution, we might have uh, some kind of economy of scale on, on the entire house. Yes. Other systems. Yes. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that it's always this way. Yeah, but it could but, be, but, especially but, if it's a bigger house. Right? Yeah, and and and, and it's um, always. Um, it's coming, uh, coming down to you. The more you, you think it through, what, what you want to have, the more you have uh, the, um, uh, the architect, the, the constructors, the builder, and, and the different vendors at the, uh, in, uh, involved in the, in the planning phase, the better the end result. Yeah. And then, then you can get these guys around the same table and, and you think through. It, it's difficult, of course, but it, it, it will have huge payback in the, in the later stages.